The Great Britain, Sir Winston Churchill, once described Russia as a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. No wonder, in a country spanning 11 time zones, where the train from Moscow travels an entire week to Vladivostok on the Pacific Ocean. A land with a desert and Mount Elbrus with its 22 glaciers. Where the most water-rich lake on Earth is frozen over six months of the year and where you can only cross the polar sea with icebreakers. Where Kamchatka volcanoes smolder and brown bears hunt for salmon where geezers steam, and there are swimming pools for fur seals, where orcas hunt, and coasts are more deserted than anywhere else. And where the land seems to float in the wetlands of the Amur River, in Russia's far east, at the end of the world. These GPS tracks of all real plane flights show how dense air traffic is over Europe. The heavens above the hub of Moscow glow, although the airspace above eastern Russia shows how few people are on the go there. Only 15% of Russia's population live in Siberia, and many parts of this vast region can only be reached by air. Despite the direct flights from Moscow, very few people make it to Kamchatka. Ships can also get you to Kamchatka, to Petropavlovsk, the capital of the Wild Peninsula, halfway between the Arctic and Japan. Two-thirds of the population live here. Kamchatka is a land of volcanoes with snow-covered peaks visible everywhere and the land of Pacific coasts. It's clearly visible from the smoking debris there's no way to be completely safe from Kamchatka's volcanoes. Twenty-nine active volcanoes smolder here. Nowhere in the world is there a higher density of volcanoes In the crater of the Gorelli volcano, a lake of turquoise sulfuric acid has formed. In 2013, four volcanoes erupted simultaneously. Scientists believe that there is an underground connection between several volcanoes.